Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new, my name is Sel. Today's video is new spring clean and decorate with me. I don't full on decorate for Easter so I'll be decorating our home for spring with just a touch of Easter. I'm also going to show you how I meal prep for the week. I hope you enjoy this video and got some cleaning motivation plus home decor inspiration. Let's do this friends! As you see in the beginning, I still have my winter decorations. I did put it up right after Christmas and I kept it until like third week of February because I don't decorate for Valentine's Day anyway. But I'm over winter and I'm so ready for spring. I wanted to see some colors and flowers. I'm really excited to make this video for you guys so I hope you enjoy this. I started here by the TV console giving it a good dusting and wiping with this Cuts Melted Gold wood polisher. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just want to make it stop. I'm going to tidy up and vacuum the couch. I needed to wash this throw blanket so I'm putting them in the washer right now. So by the time I'm done cleaning and decorating here, those will be done as well. I'm not going to be deep cleaning today. I'm just doing my regular cleaning routine. I wanted to do a separate video or series for just deep cleaning my whole house. That's something I wanted to get done this year. I did that last year, like kind of like organize and deep clean at the same time. A series, but I wasn't able to get our whole house done. And that's something that I wanted to do this year. So hopefully I get that done. But I know for sure I wanted to do something like that in my channel just like a whole deep um, cleaning series so if that's something you wanted to see as well please let me know in the comments down below it's too late not to let it go and that's why i wish you the best to say goodbye you start to get dressed and then we cry because we both know if this is your first time here in my channel, hello and welcome. I am so glad you're here. My name is Sal. I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of one. I would really love it if you subscribe and join my YouTube family for realistic cleaning motivation, satisfying home organization, and seasonal home decorating like this. I upload a new video every Friday. And don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. We're not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies Yeah Promise I won't forget
You guys, I pick up this glass egg container slash canister from Target Dollar Spot. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be, but I'm going with that. And I wanted to use this as a tissue container. I've seen this all over Instagram and I thought it was such a cute way to have a Easter decoration and be functional at the same time and I love how this turned out. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and if you're going to try this. I did not put the whole tissue that's in the tissue box because it doesn't fit so I was only able to fit half of it which is fine it's still a lot. I'll just have to refill it more often but I really like how this turned out. Before we make this even gonna hurt even show you a quick um very small haul to freshen up my home for this spring so i pick up this um vase this is going to um the kitchen um on the island um we have vase there but i have been really really wanting this for a while now and it is on sale at hobby lobby when i pick this up so i think it was a really good deal but you might want to check the price because it's a little more um, in the store than online. Online, this is only, I think, $25. And then it's like $32 um, in store. So, but it is half off. But I still um, asked for price match and they did that. So just make sure you check online. And then I pick up a couple of these vases. I really, really love the shape of these vases. I feel like it's super, super unique. Um, I pick up this um, flower as well. I'm just going to take it off. But um, I tried this um, by the fireplace because that's where I wanted to put this. But I feel like the color is blending a little too much on the wall. I'll show you later what I'm talking about. So I don't know if I'm, I wanted to return this or if I want to just um paint them like paint them like a charcoal gray almost like black because i bought um a vase before or a jar that i didn't like the color it was like a ricotta color and i painted it like a charcoal black and now i really like it so i don't know i might do that with this the only thing i'm concerned about is that it's textured so i don't know how the paint is gonna go on with this Maybe I'll try to paint it on the bottom first and see how um, the paint would hold. But I really, like I said, I really, really like the shape of this. I think it's super unique. I especially like this handle here. Um, the color is just a bit off against the wall. So that's the only thing, that the, that's the only concern I have. But I love them. So that's why I'm going to attempt to paint them. I can't return them once I paint them. So that's why I'm still like thinking about it. I look at a lot of uh, vases and jars at Hobby Lobby. There are so much beautiful ones. I just didn't like the color. Same thing. I would have to paint them and I really didn't want to do that. And this is like one of um, on the more affordable side. So that's why I got this as well. But I'll update you on that. I'll still put this up today just to show you what it looks like. And then I'll decide if I wanted to paint them or not. I'll like leave it for a couple days, see how I feel about it, and then I'll update you guys in the future videos. And then for the um, floral, I pick up this one. I'm obsessed with these flowers, you guys. It's so tiny, but it looks so beautiful. This to me screams spring so much. I just really, really love it. I also pick up like a different um, kind. I'll probably show that in a different video because it's upstairs in the bedroom right now but i also got one that's like same flower just different um a little bit different than this it's more like close together than this one this one looks like the stem are more um spread out but i really really love this these are 5.99 each i got like two stems in here so you see that's a lot i'm gonna try to put it here 
originally i planned to put this in the bedroom but i really like how this looks here so um i got two in here like i said that's why i like this jar too because the mouth is so small so i didn't need much more flour than this but yeah it looks really pretty like i said this to me screams like spring so i love that flower um i also pick up a few candles mm -hmm. i plan to put this in our bedroom this one is french lavender these are from uh tj maxx this smells so good you guys and this is one of my favorite candles from um, tj maxx the sand plus uh fog <laughs> brand um this is 7.99 and this um is sage and sea salt the this smells really good as well i had this before so um i finish it and i pick it up again i um use like christmas and winter but since it is like getting close to spring now i pick up a different one um i also pick up this frame from target it's six bucks you guys six bucks but it looks a little more expensive than that i don't know let me know what you think but it's super pretty i got a few bunny from the dollar store they look a little bit um i thought at first i pick up the same one like this one that's sitting but i guess i didn't when i got home i just realized hey, this one the arm is like high um high up here like put together I'll show you right there so the other one is just like all down here i didn't realize it until i got home but it's okay because I, as long as they're like both kind of like standing up a little bit or sitting because i also pick up another one that's like laying down it's a little too low where i wanted to put it so i'm glad i pick up both of this and then i also pick up this bunny figure i don't know i don't like any colored bunny i used to but now i, I just kind of like like the more neutral uh, bunny um i feel like it goes well with whatever decor i have so I thought this one is super cute. This is $6.99 from, uh, I believe I got this from Home Goods. Those bunnies are from Target Dollar Store. They're a dollar each. Then also uh, print some um, pictures that we had uh, last year when we went on vacation. Got some more frames and that. These are just from the dollar store. I had this for a long time now and it is glass. These are like dollar, you guys. But um i have those like i said for a while now and i just realized that i have them because i like hid them in the storage and i i found it when i was putting away the christmas decorations so i think i'm gonna go use this here in the family room and let's start decorating i'll show you how everything turned out you guys oh i didn't tell you guys i also um got this pillow new this year from tj maxx the print on this is so beautiful, you guys. It screams spring to me. And it's reversible. So this one has like white flowers and dark uh, background. And then on the other side, it's like the other way around. It's dark flower and then white background. So if you like more this side, you could do it this way. But I like this side more because I have like the white over there. So I like this a lot it's just a little pricey these are 39 dollars for two so it's basically 20 bucks for each pillow i don't usually go buy pillow especially for that price but it has a removable cover and like i said i really really like the print the pillow seems really good quality it's very soft and full i don't like to chop my pillow i don't know if you like that but i don't like to do that um someone said um in the comments in other video i um i don't remember who it is or what video it is that i saw that it reminds them of um fortune cookie so now every time i see chop pillow that's that's what goes in my mind and that's what i see so yeah i mean i've never chopped pillow before but every time i see chopped pillow that's what i remember so yeah i think these are really really beautiful let me know in the comments down below what you think all right you guys so we're going to decorate the tv console now and i did put up a lot of pictures and picture frames here because i like to see them it makes me smile it makes me happy so that's what i'm going to do i had a comment before that i had way too much picture of our family in our home 
well, it's what makes me happy. So that's what I'm going to do. You do what makes you happy in your home. I feel like when you um, decorate your home and it makes you happy, it's more, I don't know how to say it, but it's, it makes you feel more home. Maybe I think that's what I'm trying to say. It makes you feel more home. It makes it like it's really yours and not somebody's home or like everybody's home, if that makes sense. So I like to put this up. Like I said, it makes me smile just by looking at them, even though they're old pictures. The jars are darker than the wall, yes, but the faded um, color, it's very, very similar to the wall. That's why I say it's kind of like uh, blending a little too much. And this is the jar that um, I got from PJ Maxx before. It was ricotta color and I uh, spray painted um, charcoal gray. It's almost like black, but it's really, really dark gray. And I love the color of this. So I was thinking, um, like I told you earlier, of repainting this because if you see like this over here it's just it pops up so much more that's why i like this color but i couldn't find this color on like similar um jar with this one so let me know what do you think should i paint it i feel i'm leaning towards more on painting it but like i said i'm gonna sit with this for um a couple days see how i feel about it uh, i'll decide if i want to return it or if i just want to repaint it because I don't want to repaint it and then I ruin it. <laughs> I mean, it looks good right now, but I don't want to repaint it and ruin it and then I can't return it and now I'm stuck with an ugly base. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I'm going to put flowers. I feel like it looks so much better and it pops up a little bit more when there's flower on it. about this picture frame here i love this picture frame uh, my uh, sister gave this to me so it has sentimental value to me she gave this to me a couple years ago um it's a christmas gift it says i love you mommy and then um my son's name is on the bottom so this is like i said very sentimental sentimental to me so i like to display it and so far i'm liking everything um the base still looks looks a little um blended with the wall but I think the flower helps a little bit to define it, but yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I like this pop of um, uh, greenery here too with the moss. I didn't have to use any greenery except for that. Um, I thought it just adds some like organic feel and freshness to it. Baby 
we are not. She's a roller coaster. I had now done washing these straw blankets and it's time to put it back here. I cannot not have this here. We use this all the time, you guys. So this side of our home we have the dog food and the dog drinks so pretty much this is like the dog kind of like designated area so I wanted to decorate this a little bit more personal for the dog so I added some pictures and some kind of like dog display and let me know in the comments down below what you think I feel like it's a little cheesy especially with that dog bone and those libla bark I feel like it's so cliche but I thought it was so cute and I really did love it. I'm going to give the floor a good vacuuming and then I'll show you the end result of our family room and then we'll move on to meal prepping. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different kitchen as you see we still have the winter decorations i did not took that down yet or at least not in this video but that's going to be for my next part of spring decorating slash refresh i'm going to take down all of that and then decorate this kitchen for spring and also our living room so stay tuned for that if you enjoy this video i'm just cleaning up the kitchen putting away all the clean dishes so that i can put the dirty dishes that's in the sink in the dishwasher i like to do this before i cook or do any kind of work in the kitchen just because it makes me feel better and i don't know about you but i don't like to cook in a dirty kitchen so I had to do this first before I do any kind of cooking. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down. Come closer, let me see. All your million faces and all your million mistakes. You don't need 
Okay, I don't know about you or how you meal prep, but the way I do it, I like to cook a couple recipe that would last my family for a whole week, if not at least five days. I do work four days a week, so I wasn't able to um, cook every single day because my work schedule is 10 hours a day plus me driving to work and then going back home so pretty much like the whole half day i'm gone from home and the times that i'm home i had to do some house chores and also of course go to sleep so i don't really have much time when i'm home at those times to cook or really do much so i like to have some food ready so that we're not always going out or eating frozen food so i like to have fresh cooked food in the fridge that we just need to heat up for when we're busy because my husband does work a lot too he pretty much works six to seven days a week he have his full-time job and then he have a part-time job so we're both really busy and this way if i cook a couple recipe we have something in the fridge that's um pretty much left over and then we just heat up what we want to eat for that day and we're good to go this helps us not like go out and buy food all the time because everything now is super expensive you guys even fast food like everything is expensive and this not only saves us money but also keep us eating healthy food and cooked food so there's that let me know in the comments down below how you do your meal prep because I feel like a lot of people does it differently. I even like see some people do like separate like ingredients at the same time but this is how I do it. So I had that tinola. It's a Filipino food. It has chicken, sayote, um, ginger and a lot of broth. We usually eat it with rice and then I'm also going to be prepping like something for taco. I'm going to cook ground beef and then I'm just chopping all these lettuce. I'm also saving some of these lettuce for a sandwich because my husband and my son, they also like sandwich from time to time. Sometimes they eat it for lunch or for dinner even. And then I also dice up some tomatoes to go with the tacos. We could make tacos or we could make burrito or we could make quesadilla. My husband likes burrito usually and then my son likes quesadilla. So we could do whatever we want as long as we have all of this in the fridge and we just like put it together. If we don't like what we have in the fridge, then I cook something like really easy, like a 30 minute cook. If, we're, if we decided we want to do that, but when we have this, usually we're very good at like finishing leftover. We don't want to waste it. So this is what works for my family it might not work for everyone but I'm just like giving you ideas and suggestions here and let me know in the comments down below what you think when I cook a couple of recipes I want to make sure it would last us at least five days to a week so it's a lot because i also do take food for work i don't like to buy food at work because it's mostly like sandwich and salads and i'm not really i from time to time i would bring sandwich at work but most of the time i like rice and something else like something heavy because my work is very physical so i have to eat something heavy if not i'll be hungry again and then for my break i just eat like yogurt or fruit like banana or apple whatever we have at home i just bring it to work i don't buy anything at work because they're also very expensive even chips if i want to eat chips or snacks whatever we have at home that's what i would bring for work i don't spend any money at work it's another way for us to save money so that's what i do
I did cook three pounds of ground beef and it's pretty much done. I just need to drain the fat and then season this with the taco seasoning, salt, black pepper, chili powder, and I also did add minced garlic. And this is three pounds of ground beef, you guys. I'm going to keep this in the fridge for either taco, quesadilla, or burrito, whichever we like, really. And then the tinola is almost done. I'm just adding the chicken bouillon at the end. I did not use an actual chicken broth. I used just water and then this. That's pretty much my broth. And I'm just waiting for the chicken to be completely like soft and the sayori as well. I'm adding the chili pepper at the end and this is pretty much done. And then later I'm going to be putting them in the container, letting it cool down before I put them in the fridge. It is now time to eat. My son loved this chicken and the broth with his rice. So that's what he's going to be eating for tonight. I'm going to eat taco um, salad. And then I'm going to clean up the kitchen after I eat. And like I told you, put away everything in the container. And um, put them in the fridge once they're already cooled down. After we all eat, I'm going to clean the kitchen once again. I feel like that's a never-ending cycle. Almost like a laundry. If you can relate with that, let me know in the comments down below.
times when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break This pretty much wrap up today's video my friends i hope you find this inspirational and helpful i hope i inspire you to get up and tackle your own mess at home or your to-do list of house chore and if i did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up it does help support my channel and lets me know you want more videos like this comment down below and share this to a friend to inspire them as well if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you won't miss any of my future uploads thank Thank you all so much for watching and hanging out with me today i truly appreciate you and i will talk to you all again on my next video bye